another 10 minute match. Oh, precious about his bishop. Okay, let's uh, castle. And a queen move. That's an interesting situation. So what we need to do is see what we want to could do. Could push through. Could push through the center. I think we're going to do that as usual. Stick with the tried and tested. And it does actually capture, so that's a bonus for us. Puts pressure on his knight. Now the precious bishop comes back. In these situations, is this good for me or bad for me? I feel like just simply just capturing. I don't think it's bad. I'm just taking again, just keeping it simple as possible. Where's his queen going? Attacking this pawn here, obviously. So we need to defend that. Makes sense. The obvious one is bringing the knight out here, defending. I'm going to see if he wants to trade the queen off. I know you shouldn't do it, but you know. Makes for an easier game, simplified. They're thinking about it, so it doesn't look like they're actually going to take. But if they don't take, I feel. Ooh. Now, this is fancy. That's too fancy. Let's just take. Fancy business. Dun, dun, dun. Got one, one there. Let's just bring the rook here. Hmm. So we're a minute away. Developing the bishop. What's actually going to happen here? If his knight takes the pawn, we take the knight. Then the bishop takes the pawn, the rook is on the back. Let's go with that. I think we're going to be down a pawn, but better positionally if he takes the pawn type situation he doesn't he doesn't take the pawn he can still go for it I'm going to try and own the center here potential for the pawn pushing up to this this bishop's looking for this nice juicy pawn here this is the pawn i thought was going to get lost but he's coming for the rook with this thing so we'll go here Protection, knight here, nope. Uh, I've put on there though, his bishop comes down and attacks. Hmm. Pawn up. Pawn up. Yeah, it's a bit messy, is that the rook doesn't have any support on probably have to bring the bishop back but I'm blocking my rook so I'm not really a fan of that mm -hmm. okay, I need to get the knight out of the way don't I it's not going to go there could go there but it's not got much play could come here It's looking a bit tense actually, I need to move a bit faster now. Okay, so they're coming down. Just block that off. Let's 
get some speed in the situation I don't think there's anything major now I think positionally we can hope now that they actually start making mistakes they do have weak areas dotted around the place so it's just a matter of us trying to take advantage could it be, you know go here the knights dropping down it's looking it's looking for this square isn't it because the bishop's protecting that square as well hmm looking for that square we we're looking to attack this pawn could potentially sit here signs are jumping around the side here <laughs> you never know making its way back around across the putting a two on one here that's a long-winded way of doing it but okay we've got them thinking anyway So it's gone protecting the pawn. So the knight can't squeeze in there, can't squeeze in there, can't squeeze in there. Could push the pawn onto the knight. Hmm. I don't know, I'm not too sure. Let's push the pawn, see what happens. A smaller piece attacking a higher piece can't be that wrong, so I don't want to overthink it. Time's running out. They're a minute ahead of me, so I need to just keep a steady position nothing's clear you see on this so smaller piece again hopefully trap in the night equal exchange if he jumps back up here anyway so we're not winning anything bishop does have that there yeah he's gone back so don't think my smaller piece attacking a higher piece again can escape and it can escape here but we're on to a piece at last so looking for a rook exchange potentially you never know so it makes it easier when you're using some sort of strategy like a smaller piece attacking a higher piece because it gives you a good target point you don't really have to overthink it too much so it's moved out of the way and like we said just grab this here probably a rook exchange if he does capture doesn't have to capture it can push past and then look to attack the pawn here but then we do have the knight that can take this pawn if he moves a bit of pressure he's got like a two on one situation if he leaves it three actually so I think he will take just for a simple rook exchange. It's going to be all in the file anyways, anyway, isn't it? It's just that this pawn will have to do, um, go. Maybe. We'll see tempo-wise. So now their time has dipped a little bit underneath ours. So the small attacks that we're doing here. It's built up to a, such a three-on-one thing with the pawn being attacked. You could turn it around, do like a morphe and attack a piece with a lesser piece, or just attack a piece. You could take the knight off the board, rook takes. So it, it doesn't look clear to me, it still looks like there's work to be done. I wonder why they're taking long. So if they do take. Do we take his rook so he then gets the um, file I suppose we do and then we take the pawn here it's only a small advantage he can come back and attack the knight then he's on this pawn we can defend it oh, he takes he takes after all that let's go here maybe he's not wanting this rook on the back for some reason so when he does take if we take then his rook is here then his rook can come down and put a check on us and plus he's got rid of the knight that can take the pawn mm. going to grab anyway 
So now they're playing Super Bullet. So behind this knight is a pawn. So we can actually touch onto this knight with a smaller piece. Again, harassing the knight with a smaller piece. His rook can always come down and do the check. That's probably why he did it that way. Because he's saving, he saved that pawn because our knight was here. But then also he does have the momentary check here. Move the king across. His knight can't quite reach our king, so that's not too bad. This time he's definitely... Oh no. Oh no, I'm not sure about that. Um, and they've resigned. Okay, that was an interesting game up until the right until the end. And then things started to unfold. It wasn't from us, it was basically the opponent either overfought their position or there was a small small steady build-up of attacks from smaller pieces which were the pawns and then that gave us the advantage in the game so that was fairly quite interesting to play five minute zero This is another one that's letting the time run down, so again, going to use the same sort of strategy. Simple moves, any aggressive defensive work that needs to be done, and not going to overexert unless, of course, it is absolutely on the plate. And again, winning on time is a skill and a technique in its own right. If you're looking at these um, quick type games, um, you have to understand all of the all of the. Um, methodologies that people can use in any of the types of games that you're playing so this person is their time is way down now so still be mindful that long pause could be them thinking of an absolutely fantastic move that gets you trapped look how fast they're moving now like we said we're just going to take it nice and simple nice and steady He's wanting to claw back the time now. What we don't want to do is allow them to claw that time back. But we don't want to make their fast moves look like they're really good. So he's gone back into a deep think again. He's feeling, right, I've got my pieces around my king. I'm nice and safe. We've covered that aspect before in a previous game where the opponents think, right, if I get all of my pieces around my king, then they can't get to me and that's a false attitude to sort of have really uh, what we need to do is just get the rook off because he's looking for all this sort of stuff here oh that was an accident I didn't mean to do that that was a mouth slip I was clicking oh never mind I don't think it's caused me too much trouble but that's not what I wanted to do <laughs> teach me for hovering so we're a full minute ahead and this guy is looking for the perfect moves let's just attack it well not attack blunt his bishop we like to blunt the bishops <laughs> a minute and a half ahead that's a lifetime but you will have seen yourselves when somebody's giving you that lifetime and then some of them they really hyper bullet out the moves and it looks really good this is one of those cases where potentially it can happen and you've really got to just keep your wits about you keep a nice position and aggressively defend as best possible just bring the bishop here just looking at all the things he's potentially looking at doing supporting this pawn to potentially come here maybe this coming down 
maybe the queen coming here I don't know what the bishop would be attempting to do so that's a long way off doing all of that attack process so not really sure what this queen move was and I'm interested in trading but I don't really want his bishop on my knight because my knight doesn't have any protection at the moment so I'm happy coming here to lean on the queen if he pushes just taking it steady not looking at blowing them out of the water or anything they're on a minute and 50 now we're on three minutes and 52 so time management is key as we mentioned his bishop wants to attack our knight what else do we have our bishop could go there we moved the rook out of the way so we're fairly happy so now we can attack the queen with the support of our queen and the pawn so position play i know this person's not playing fast but they're trying to position so that they can play fast if you know what i mean they're trying to get the bullet moves off in the last few seconds yeah so it's now on our queen our queen can we've got time we've got time so not need to rush anything it's the art of looking at position play what was he looking for bishop nice and simple as well as obviously attacking the queen but there's no overcompensation other than attacking the bishop here so we're fairly comfortable taking that moment to look at what it is they're trying to do and if they've left anything behind my bishop is still looking at this pawn here because it's on here but the queen is there at the moment so what else do they have the pieces really aren't working together so he does capture let's go here so that was their plan after all that pawn here don't need to rush it you know the bishop queen could take for something to do but don't need to do anything like that bishops attacking down so we can just block off with the bishop that's uh, pretty straightforward like i say aggressive defending now the opponent has some sort of plan in sight let's push here aggressive defending blocking this pawn because when they're in ultra bullet mode that's where the likes of newbies or people who are experienced but they're facing the hyper bullet type of person um we get really sort of tense thinking oh my god wait, what are they doing take that moment have a look what gaps have they left what are they attacking can we block anything off can we better our position they've got five seconds left three two one time management time management dealing with the hyper bullet type of mentality when you see the long pauses in these short games they're building up towards doing the hyper bullet type thing and we circumvented that quite well with good positional play okay, seven minute game they've gone for fianchetto ghetto whichever attacking the pawn just develop the knight Okay, so it is a blitz match so I can expect people to be moving a little bit faster than ordinary so we can't um, sort of like jump down the throats because they're moving fast just bring the bishop here because it is after all a blitz match so he's going for Fianchetto on both sides so we're potentially immediately looking at weak squares currently here and here for the opponent so that's our end game opening process targeting this particular area at this moment in time so i'm going to castle and we know even even playing blitz um if the opponent moves too fast for themselves then you know just say a good game to them sorry i missed their good luck um statement because they can still move too fast for themselves but I'm not going to make any comment on that I'm going to hope that they make mistakes going through going through the game because they're going fast ok 
Okay, so it's come down with the night here. As you can see, I'm taking my time. <laughs> it's, it's distracting me really because I put GG, you know, which is good game, and they've gone GG question mark. I've gone good game. It's a, it's not over yet. Don't you say good game when it's over? <laughs> right okay so i won't get into the chat thing because this will be their way of like you know winning on time but i'm looking for getting a nice position i want to target the area so a smaller piece attacking a higher piece I'm not going to rush it just take it nice and steady so i don't have to move fast if you, if you can get what my meaning if i can do quality moves i don't have to move fast and i can take time over doing less moves for more benefit <laughs> uh, he's basically saying I'm moving kind of slow honestly shouldn't have to think that much until around move 12 <laughs> he's teaching me how to play blitz oh that's really good excellent Okay, so it almost made me want to um, go even slower. <laughs> so I'm actually going to take the night nice and steady. Get down to a minute or something. Although we did say I want to focus on good, good quality moves. These are the target areas that we're looking at at the minute. So we'll capture here. Okay, so he's moving so smoothly fast, which is good for us. Just block off here, open up the dark square bishop for transitions, potentially. Um, so, let me go and attack the queen first. Queen's move does give us a nice position to just sit here. Like we said, we're going to be looking to target these areas. It's the quality of the moves, not the speed of the moves as far as we're concerned. Just bring the knight up here again, target in these around this area here, like we said. Although that's going too far, we were looking at these ones really. Try not to stray away from the initial target too much because obviously this pawn is going to drop down, so not actually drop down. Okay, so we might as well grab that while we're here. It's dropping onto the pawn. Interesting, let's just grab that. So again, targeting the area, bringing the rook here, rook here, rook check. Just bring the rook for a check, then we can look to put the queen here. Put the queen there is he escaping okay, we do have bishop here attacking a higher piece let's bring the bishop attacking a higher piece first save the queen king for a bit later might be the next move depends what the queen does give space for the knight to come here put a check on the king as well I think the king's going to escape here. I don't really want to escape him, so maybe we open up here, get the queen coming this side. Just a few thoughts. So we're on two minutes 36, and we're currently plus one at the moment. So uh, we will follow the path of the knight coming here with a check. I don't think it's oh I'm gonna say I don't think he's going on the back but he has gone on the back just take this off the board a nice free rook position play again 
and he's losing the queen because they're going so fast but hey it's a blitz match and oh and they've resigned in the chat it's saying um you're down you're down from seven to four minutes um but quality of moves is what we're talking about here um let's have a look at where the pieces are one piece is here these were the initial target areas that we were focusing on here so the knight played around this area here and did quite a lot of damage our bishop came up to this area to do a lot of damage and that's really where it ended in one of these key squares here so the targeting did help but the placement of the, the opponent's pieces helped us as well because we didn't force them to make the moves they made but it just so happened that these key, key squares here helped us to operate the advantage in the game. So it's really nice that they were <laughs> saying it was basically going too slow. Um, quality over speed, position over speed. Five minute game. Looks like we might have a slow plodder, a slow plodder or a hyper bullet specialist. Let's see. Yeah, okay, looks like a bit of hyper. Took the time with that move then. Okay, let's go. Let's develop. What was that? That's a big attack. Let's attack the king. And let's get rid of the big guns. Let's push on to the knight. Took with the king. Whoa. This is confident. That's very confident. Okay, so it comes here with the knight attacking the pawn. Doesn't do any of that. Okay, let's uh, attack the king. Attack it again. Attack it again. That knight's got the two on one, so we can't go jump in there, but we can go here. But then he comes round and is attacking both our pieces, so we have to be very careful. It's a double check, though, isn't it? So we can go here and get the rook. So those little speedy moves that he was doing with the king type thing didn't put them in a good position this is the type of thing we're trying to practice bishop could come and put a check just to solidify that action so that and we can still take the rook yeah let's go there and then we can take bishop going there yeah we just take the rook i thought there was a checkmate thing but it looks like the opponent may have left the game so yeah that was a nice example of claim victory there of the small little moves the quick quick moves that they did when they started to they captured with the queen which threw me off a little bit king sorry so you'd think the bishop would go back and actually just take the queen off the board but the move did quick at this stage here but their position was not very good so it's been able to take advantage of that quickness and say well okay yes you've moved fast but what have you left for me and these were the things that they left for us okay nice steady 10 minute game pushing here okay opponents playing it nice and somber um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I don't really like doing that let's go here preferences is we go there the queen comes and then you have to defend with the knight and it gets a bit murky as far as I can see so we'll stick with simple 
bishop attacks straightforward capture king safety it's pushing through the center before they've castled so I think we can take advantage of that let's capture here Speed don't impress me much. Let's <laughs> bring this knight out. Looking good. What was that? Bishop attacking. He loses the knight. So we're a minor piece up. Oh, well, that's a shame. Okay, pressure on the centre, two on one on the pawn. I don't think this one's going to last much longer. I think this will be finished, so let's look forward to the next one. But you have to keep plodding away. The opponent's still carrying on, so. We might make a mistake. Fingers crossed we don't. Go for the exchange. Could have gone with the rooks owning the file here, so that's not too much of an issue. It's still carrying on. Double in the double in the rooks. Born in the file. Potentially. So he's on the inside with his rook. Hmm. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, the king. I'm looking to get my knight activated up here and he's probably looking to bring his rook here to get around the back there not sure what that was just bring the knight up attacking the loose pawn quickly comes down could lose a pawn if we go this way but if we go the other way we could win the rook okay Potentially, I don't think that's going to happen though. And it goes straight for the position. I was thinking of bringing the knight here, then it's attacking the rook. Let's bring the rook here. So it's not a foregone conclusion just because I've got this minor piece up now. Ooh, he's going for an exchange. I don't think that was, maybe he's giving up now. Let's hit the king. He can't come to these squares because the knight, so he has to go back, so he's gone back. Uh, could look to sort of protect this pawn it's going a bit quick let's go here it is a blitz match don't say anything they can move as fast as the one we know that when they move that fast is my knight trapped Can't go here, can't go there, can't go there. Oh, you know, this is quite savage, isn't it? Let's go here. Right, now I can move. And attack the queen, king. Find the ideal move. So, oh, he's not, I'm not actually saving his pawn. 
Okay. Destruction, destruction. Am I trapping the knight? I don't want to trap the knight. Um, could go in the corner. Let's go here. There's no back ranker. Oh, he's lost the rook. <sighs> oh, good effort. Okay. Okay, 10 minute game. Let's hit the pawn. opened up space around his king area already so we're going to capture this pawn here what's the focal point key squares just here and here see if we can focus on that those are the weak areas that we deem to be able and willing to be attacked so that gives us our focal point it gives us our in if you like yeah so i'm going to bring the queen here a bit early for the queen but hey it's a starter for 10 these key squares here I'm going to bring the bishop through obviously just to um, put some more pressure I think the queen is obviously going to be coming out so it's a starter for 10 the opponents gave us this opportunity so we're trying to take advantage of it these key squares here if it's blocked off we, we change we move we redirect but for now initially from that first few openings the targeting that we're trying to practice is, is standing us in good stead yeah so the queen's come there so that's a nice blocker so we need to change and not go crazy so a smaller piece attacking a higher piece can't be wrong so the knight comes through yep so it's all defendable no problems let's see what else we want to try and do we're not going to over press we could take the knight takes back with the pawn opens up more space around his king so i think i'm going to take because this was the critical area here so now we've obliterated quite a few pieces from that area already from the first few moves that we've done so that's not too bad so bringing the knight up and across to attack this pawn as a distraction because the only piece he could let it go the only piece that could defend it is the queen so that's like three moves away so i don't think he's going to allow us to do that because his bishop's going to be attacking our queen anytime soon but it is a plan we could go and castle knowing that the bishop is going to come or we could preempt the whole movement and move the queen first let's go with preempting the move first because it's like an annoyance in a sense so the, the uh, well you see now what we've done is reverse the tables and the bishop still got the attack there it's not as awesome as the queen but at least we're still maintaining pressure on that area also attacking the piece that was attacking us so you'd think they'd probably bring the knight a pawn here or they go back yeah so they have brought the pawn back smaller piece attacking a higher piece can't be wrong kind of holding the bishop to ransom because if the knight moves then we, we could take there if the bishop did come and attack the bishop type situation but we just take the bishop off the board if it comes here so still wanting to main that area of pressure although my pieces are on the other side of the board do i need to change tack bishop could come here leaning on the knight x-raying through and it changes the process a bit and um, knight can't do any fancy sacrifices no, yes. we could go and castle or again we could go up up i'm castling yeah so you see how now because my focal point was on this area here i'm not over pressing i've retreated reframed what i'm doing rewritten my prediction still there though the prediction because i still feel that's fairly strong and it's released the bishop 
so he's not actually attacked our bishop so our bishop could attack his knight and through the knight is the rook obviously so his bishop's going to probably fianchetto which i think probably is a in my head it's a waste of a move because he probably wants to get our white square bishop off the board really so we could go here looking to pin through his bishop comes and we take hmm or we could just leave the knight for now and develop our own knight it does have sights of a nice a little nice little attack on the queen here We're still focused on this area yep i haven't forgotten about that we've done a bit of damage already in that area so you could say that's been successful in its own right but we need to mobilize our pieces <clears throat> in a stealthy way towards that it's actually attacking the bishop with the rook here and so the rook is going to be in the center of the board and we know that rooks don't have any place in the center of the board but for now what i'm going to do is smaller piece attacking a higher piece which is the queen can't be wrong so he does have if he forgets himself and he moves his queen offline we do have this with a fork on his queen and his king so he needs to be mindful not to move his queen to that side the knight still does have this so he's got to be mindful not to move his queen down either because we'd have a check and he would lose his queen so he's moved it far out of the way which makes sense because the knight can't come here because the queen will take it can physically go there if it wanted to disturb the king and get the bishop putting a check on the king here could work you know but it's not a checkmate per se the reason i'm saying that is knight goes there and say the queen takes then the bishop comes here with a check on his king his king could come there that would be ideal for us but it's not going to do that so they go there and then the idea being was that the queen comes here but it's not a checkmate situation because his bishop can block as well yeah so that's no good so it's a nice thought so in essence the bishop can just take the bishop and the knight is going to be stuck in the middle for a, a little bit of a second because then the queen can come and touch it he has to go back then we can touch onto the knight the knight has to move somewhere so we're making inroads i have to be mindful his queen is actually opposite our king and he could be looking for a nice little small stealth move tacking towards the, our king area so we have to watch those types of situations so what's the best move for us capturing and then i've got a fork here with my king queen on both pieces the rook and the knight if the rook takes and he's probably seeing that now and that's why he's not actually taken so the bishop can put a fork on both of them a pin or whatever you want but what did we say <laughs> he's going for that I won't say cheap but you know so now he's gone for this so we do get the fork so he can either bring his queen here to prevent the check on the king or move the rook i think he'll save the rook so we'll, we'll get a check on the king it's a momentary check and then i suppose he can move here and then our queen can go here with a check and then his king is running down here then our knight can put a check on so then it hides in the corner over here and then we do have the queen but the knight is going to be in front of the queen so we'll be able to bring our queen here but he's on a dark square so that's not going to work so we'll be able to take his queen off the board so okay oh what's happened he's coming down for our knight oh well i did all of that calculation this is what i say when you do all that calculation and they don't do what you expect so we're going to put the check here and going to put a check here because we can so he has to move and then they've resigned i don't know why though shall we check the evaluation because he is it check not checkmate is it analysis board help us out 
Checkmate in one. <laughs> and this is a beautiful 4K, you see that? Boom. <laughs> oh, dear me. Okay, so. If they move there. I wouldn't go there, would I? I would just go like that, wouldn't I? Boom, yeah. Okay, so that was a nice build up. Um, we ended on a square, yeah, which was part of the key squares that we talked about putting pressure on the king because we'd obliterated all the pieces that were around that king area. Just from that one movement that the opponent made, which opened up their king, we then took advantage of that, of that play. So it's um, good to work this end game opening. It's it's quite impressive. Doesn't work all the time, but even when the opponent has an advantage against you, and if they don't understand the answer process, then you can actually take it to them and actually get an advantage in the game, which is quite surprising. <laughs>